Good morning, Skyox. I'm your Vice Principal, Thomas Kearney, and today is Tuesday, May 18th. And today we have plenty to talk about. I'll get the first and uh, most obvious out of the way. A reminder, yearbooks are up for pre-order. If you want a yearbook, they're $30, cash, check, or credit in the main office. Make sure you get that for this incredibly unusual and weird year. Also wanting to talk about the Anime Club. Happened Monday, yesterday. I'd say it's a smashing success. Um, all gl technical glitches have been solved. And I hope to see all of you next Monday at 4.30. 4.30 to 5.30, we'll do it over Zoom. We're gonna have some interesting animes. It seems like majority of people wanna see some stuff that they haven't seen before. So I've got some good ones lined up for you. Also, this is our superhero competition for the remainder of the year. We're having our super fight. But before I get into that, I want to talk about a real life superhero in honor of Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, Dr. Ho Feng Shan. So Dr. Ho Feng Shan was born in China. Um, and one of the things that really stands out about him is he was actually a diplomat representing China to Germany during the time of under Hitler's rule. And one of the things that he did that many countries weren't doing, like countries, I mean, in all honesty, China wasn't super on board with this either, was he began seeing the serious problem that was faced by many Jewish people in Nazi Germany, I mean, with the Holocaust. And so to help many Jewish people escape, he, going against his government in many ways, started issuing a bunch of visas. So the permissions to immigrate or leave Germany, uh, in this case, especially Austria as well, which Germany had conquered, um, to Shanghai, China. And uh, that he saved, we don't, we don't honestly know. Um, some of the records were destroyed. And since he got into trouble for doing this, um, he kind of did a lot more on the, on the, the DL, uh, but at least thousands. We know he saved 2,000, but we know, also know it was a lot more than that. So, uh, and then he, he was not um, well received by the Chinese government uh, when he returned. Um, he did eventually immigrate to the U.S. where he uh, spent his last few years. He actually died in the 90s. Um, but yeah, he's now recognized as a Nash international hero for the amount of lives that he had saved by helping Jewish people get out of, many Jewish people get out of Germany before it was too late. Okay, we've got our super fights uh, round two to go up. I want to see you guys vote. And just a reminder, there is a bracket for you to fill out. You download it. So you make it, uh, when you open the link, it'll download. Then you have to enable editing and you'll go through and pick who you want to be the winners. Then just share it with me. I put the information below. But the two matches we're gonna look at today, we've got Wolverine versus Batman. So in case you don't know their powers, Batman has no powers other than a lot of money. And you know, he's really well trained and has tons of tech. Um, and he's super amazingly smart. But mainly Batman's superpower is he's insanely rich. <laughs> um, and Wolverine, he has an unbreakable skeleton. He can heal from almost anything and he has super senses. So who would win in a fight between these two? Let me know. The other match for today is Ant-Man versus Mystique. One can grow and shrink to almost any size possible as well as control ants. That's Ant-Man. And Mystique, she can change shape to almost anything. Um, and she's incredibly skilled at emotional and manipul um, mental manipulation. She is a shape changer and her options are gigantic. So in these fights, tell me who you think would win. Can't wait to see what you guys vote for and make sure you fill out that bracket. There will be prizes for the people that come in um, the top few selections who get the most right. And uh, I need the brackets filled out by this Friday. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Have a great day.